The standard mouse pointer shape in Excel is this one, the highlight across. If you left click, you can highlight any single cell or left click and drag uh, down or across, you can highlight a group of cells. If you like, you can hold down the control key at the same time and that allows you to highlight cells that are non-contiguous. That means cells that are not joined together. If I double click in a cell, I get the eye beam shape, like a capital I, and that just shows um, that you can type some text in a cell. So there we are. I'm pressing enter to uh, get to the cell below while I do that. Okay, I've typed in one, two, and three. If I highlight cell C2 with the highlight cross and then move the mouse pointer to the right hand edge of that cell, the shape has changed to the movement cross. Now this one, it's a, a thin black plus sign with an arrow on, on each end. And what that allows you to do, it's a bit like cut and paste, it allows you to move the content around. It's worth practicing with this one to get the hang of the difference between the highlight cross and the movement cross. Moving the cursor, the mouse pointer, up here over the um, column header, it changes to a down pointing arrow. Left click and that will highlight the entire column. And similarly, when you move it over the row headers, um, it changes to an arrow pointing to the right. If you left click there, it highlights an entire row. Now, if you move the cursor, the mouse pointer, between, on the grid line between the two rows, the shape changes again. This one allows you to uh, resize a row. There we are. By left clicking and dragging. And very similarly, if you go up to the header row, click on the grid line between two columns, you left click and drag to resize a column. You can also hover it on that grid line again and double click, double left click, and that will resize the column um, to the size of uh, the content. There, I'll just put it back. Now, I've highlighted cell C4, which has got number three in it. If I hover the mouse over the bottom right hand corner of the cell, I get a thin black uh, plus sign. That one is the autofill handle. And this is a great one. What it allows you to do is copy formulas or extend a data sequence. So here we've got one, two, three, which is a, uh, a number sequence. Um, I've used the, let's just do that again. I've used the highlight cross to highlight all three cells, the whole sequence. And then I'm hovering the mouse over the bottom right hand corner um, of those three highlighted cells. So the autofill handle appears left click and drag down and Excel completes that sequence. So just to recap, here are the eight mouse pointer shapes we've seen today. I really hope you find that useful.